Hey everyone, welcome back to Thrifted Thursday. I am so excited to be here and show you my thrift finds. If you are new to Thrifted Thursday, I come on, I show you the things that I thrifted, what I'm gonna keep and upcycle, or what I'm gonna keep and just, you know, put as decor in my home. And then also the things that I list on the website. All of the things that are listed on the website go live five minutes prior to me doing the premiere. So head over there now, everything is live. The link to my website, unicorndesigns.com. Wow, I don't even know my own channel name. That is That link is in the description box and I will drop it down in the comments as well. Um, I had so much fun. You guys, I have not been thrifting since I got pregnant. So it's been five months. Here is what our baby looks like so far. We're getting big. This is our last one, so I'm trying to enjoy it. I am so colorful today, you guys. It is, it is wonderful. Um, but yeah, I haven't been thrifting at all. So the other day, John had the day off, and I was like, we went to Turnstiles, which is one of my favorites. And then I was like, you know what? Goodwill's down the street. Let's just go and see. I haven't been there in so long because the prices the last couple times I tried to go were outrageous. I ended up walking out with absolutely nothing. So I haven't been back in a good amount of time. So we went in there, you guys, and the prices were amazing. And I found stuff. And I'm really excited. So this is going to be a mix of Goodwill turnstiles and I think there are maybe a handful of things from Savers um, so we will just go ahead and get started so <laughs> the first thing John actually got this and said it was for me I don't believe in humans it's like kind of chipped up and stuff but it was funny he said it was my birthday present and it was 99 cents at Goodwill I mean that's pretty stinking cute I love it even if I used it, oh, this would be cute as like a, a pen holder on my desk too because your girl's got plenty of mugs. You guys know my mug obsession. I also found, that was at Goodwill, at Turnstiles, they have like carts when you walk in and they'll have like new stuff like this for super cheap. This was two bucks and it is... One of those little like lawn mowers, but it, you know, spits out bubbles. So, of course, I got this for Montgomery because spring is in the air, folks, and the weather is amazing out here. So, I got that for Miss Montgomery. I could probably actually do that for like this. Maybe I should save it. Um, I don't know. Okay, let me, I'll show you the stuff I got at Turnstiles first so we don't keep going back and forth. I found this and I am going to put this in my booth. It is actually in great condition. It's not like even dusty and I love the pot. It's very cute. I don't know. No, there's like gray patches everywhere. I was like, that was kind of weird. And it was $5.99. I paid regular price for it because I was like, you know what? Even if I put $15.95, $16.95, that's a deal compared to what this is worth, you know, like at home goods or something like that. So really, really good find there. Of course, all the things I found from Turnstile, most of it wasn't on. So um, I'm going to start collecting bunt pans. This one was 50% off. It was orange tag. So 250. This fall, I want to do a bunt pan workshop at our booth. Um, Lewisburg Market Street. So I want to start collecting these when I find them like super cheap and they could be any color because obviously, you know, we could paint them and stuff. So I am going to start collecting now. I found this little finial. It was $1.50. So of course, you know, we're probably going to paint this and who knows, it looks like it was Hobby Lobby at some point. I just want to see what it was what the price was at Hobby Lobby. Come on, damn it. It's probably gonna rip it. $4.99 back in the day. It looks like an older Hobby Lobby tag. So I got that. I found, is there something right there? I found this clock. 
and I definitely want to DIY it. It was $9.99 and 50% off. So this whole, this is so my vibe. The, unfortunately, the face of this, which I could take off. I wonder if I could just get a new face because I love, it even has like florals in there, but the face of it, the plastic, it's super scratched right there. So I loved this. It doesn't have any markings of where it was from, but it looks like it's a little bit older. So I think with an updated paint job, maybe some transfers or may, no, I don't know about molds. I think transfers would look beautiful or a stamp for five bucks. Yes, 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 yes. I found this too and I was gonna keep it for myself. But you guys, I, I said, okay, there's one, no, there's, there's two things. I was like, no, I'm not listing these. But I did say for the most part, I would list if they don't sell tonight, then you can kind of keep it because I found this for, this was another regular price, $3.99 and I love it. I love the moodier um, prints on it. It is one of the tiles. It's not Sid Dickens. Um, and the imagery is just absolutely beautiful. It looks like there's a little nick, but that can be easily fixed with a little bit of like dark and decrepit. And this is, it's called Art Stones. I could not find anything um, about this image on Google, even like putting it on there and then putting Art Stones. It said it's made in the USA, Greensburg, Louisiana. So, and then it has like a hanger on the back. So that is, that was $3.99. I got a couple. This one I got to DIY. I thought it was perfect. It was 50% off. So it was $3. And I thought this would be so easy. And I could literally put molds in there, transfers in there, decoupage paper. Doesn't matter. I like that it's already framed out, ready to go. I could hang it up. Awesome. And for my kitty lovers, sorry you guys, <sighs> getting out of breath. Been a while since I talked this much. For my kitty lovers, I found this gorgeous print. This is actually from Armstrong and Hogan Incorporated Nostalgic Picture Framing from Westminster, California. I can't believe this came to Kansas from Westminster, California, but you'll see my like screen is in the way but there's a better image on the website look at how pretty that is with the quilted blanket the Amish basket it's so pretty and this you can I cleaned the outside of the frame it even looks like the picture needs to be moved down a little bit but this um whoever purchases it this can be taken out and I would clean the inside of the glass because it has that like a little bit of like kind of foggy look. Uh, but I love this. I love the frame with it. It's gorgeous. And I found it for $2.99 at Goodwill. I actually found a couple kitty things at Goodwill. So let me find the other thing. Let's see. Here's my kitty. This somewhere under all this glass that I always buy. Oh, right here. This is actually, it's on the website. I forget what it is. It's a specific maker. It's called like pecan shell. I don't know. Go look at the listing. Okay. But I found this beautiful cat. It is like a resin wood carved cat that I think that's what they called it. Um, but it's by a certain maker and there are no chips on this and it has some weight to it. I mean, there's hardly, okay, there's one little mark right there. But other than that, I thought this was so gorgeous and it's nice because I feel like no matter what color your cat is or whatever, if you are a kitty fan, then this will go. And this was two. 99. Super cute. 
I'll put you right here. And then, okay, this cat, you guys, okay, I'm going to weigh this for you. This baby is so heavy and we walked through the aisle. I saw it, but unfortunately this little kitty has a chip in its ear and then like a little chip right there. So I set it back down and John was like, just get it. Like, you know, who cares if it's chipped? You could do something to it. I set it back down and I was like, no, I'm trying to be super good about what I buy. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put it in the cart and then I'll think about it because it probably won't be there when we come back. So needless to say, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. It was $5.99 and I was like, I'm going to smooth out the ear. The, the paint job on it is not something that I feel like I can personally match. Um, so I was like, I'll smooth it out. I'll paint it. We could put transfers on it, something, you know? Well, I noticed when I got it home, this engraving right here. And it says Austin Production Incorporated 1978. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. It's marked. So I looked this up. You guys on cherish.com, this cat is valued at like $220. There's one on Etsy that's been, um, what do you call it? Refurbished? Uh, what is, what is it when you redo something? I don't know. Okay. You guys will put it in the comments. Um, they fixed it basically. And it's selling for like $109. So I was like, Oh my gosh, I cannot touch this cat. I'm not going to paint it. Um, I will smooth out the ear. And what I'm going to do is try and put, I don't know if I should even try paint. Um, cause I feel like if I could put just a darker base on it, to kind of hide it because depending on how you set it you don't see it like that but you see it like that um so we're gonna leave the kitty as is and i'm gonna sell it let me go weigh this thing real quick you guys would be shocked i thought it was a door stopper at first this cat is seven pounds seven pounds, my friends. That's how large and heavy this cat is. So I thought that was really, really, it's always like shocking when you find things like that at Goodwill and you don't expect anything, but I just like learning about where it comes from, who made it. I think that's really, really cool. So we got that. What else did I show you? I showed you guys that. Okay more i'll show you this real quick kid stuff you guys if you have grandbabies nieces nephews babies of your own do not buy brand new seriously they grow out of things so fast and with montgomery and daycare right now um they're going outside they're playing they're at the park they're i mean she comes home and she is so <laughs> dirty and i love it um so i and she's been going through, especially shoes, so fast that at turnstiles, $2.49 for shoes. These are definitely Walmart. We've had these before. But these are like Cat and Jack. They just need to be cleaned up. The other um, day we went by Savers, and that was just so I could find baby clothes. And uh, I found a pair of brand new baby Adidas in her size for $3.99. And then all the clothes were like, 250 or something like that so i got her these little champion shorts i am all about thrifting for the kids i mean i think sorry i'm gonna go off camera and wipe my nose um i think <laughs> everly i mean we still buy some brand new stuff but definitely it's like as the kids you know the more kids you have the more flexible you are and you're like not everything has to be brand new for the new baby since we don't know the gender um, I've been buying things secondhand because we already have all the girl stuff, but if it does happen to be a boy, we needed neutral items. So I've just been thrifting it all. Even went to Lewisburg market street 
and there is a gal there that she is selling basically her grandchildren's clothing and they are so nice and they're just they're the same prices as thrift stores and I got a bunch of stuff from um that little shop so that was cool okay okay enough about the kids I found this little guy at Savers and I don't know if you guys have seen I've used a cat that looks very similar to this owl before I mean literally almost exactly like this they probably were made I don't know but I'm not willing to let go of the cat yet because <laughs> I love it but the owl is super cute it looks like some of the paint um has chipped off but other than that in great condition it looks like a wing was painted and on the bottom it just says this product made safe paint we care so not sure where this came from but $2.99 and I know I have some owl lovers out there oh more kitty stuff you guys I found these for $3.99 and I could not believe that they did not have one chip on them they are kitty salt and pepper shakers these beautiful cats with blue eyes and if you set them like I like setting them like that when I take pictures because it looks like this one's like trying to play with that one they both have the corks still in them and you guys there's not I mean usually their ears would be chipped or I mean these are in fabulous condition their faces are beautiful like this one has this probably just needs to be cleaned off it looks like a little bit of like a yellow mark right there but I found these for $3.99 and there was no way I was gonna pass them up a little pricey but I know I have cat lovers and finding those without any chips on them I couldn't pass it up so I had to get them uh, this is another Goodwill find, perfect for spring. This is another piece I think if somebody doesn't purchase it, I will keep it because this would look so good in the kitchen with a vignette. Um, it's, it's just gorgeous. And it was $2.99. I found this, which I'm keeping for myself. It's just a little vase. It's like pink, almost looks marble-ish. Uh, I don't know it was 250 but I like these because the kids bring in I have flower frogs I'm trying to collect flower frogs now oh, I'm obsessed with them but the kids always bring in little flowers and things like that so these are just nice for me to set in different places when they come in from outside and they have little flowers um, that they have picked so I got that for myself now this if any of you whoa, Ooh, that made the baby belly a little drop a little bit. So if anybody knows about this, it looks like pink milk glass. But you guys, I searched this on Google and could not find anything like it. It is not marked, you would think almost like an Avon item, but it's not marked anywhere Avon. And it's a little trinket box and it's so detailed on the top. I almost kept this one, but I was like, Sammy, what are you going to do with it? You just want it because it's different and you've never seen one before. <laughs> if it's different and I haven't seen it before, most likely I'm going to buy it. I did spend $4.99 on it, regular price, but I mean, I've never seen one before. So, and again, there's no marking you have like the ribs kind of glass, almost like recycled glass. Um, but yeah, there's no marking and it looks like pink milk glass. So if you guys have seen this or know what it is, please let me know. I think it's so beautiful and it's like the softest pink. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, what else we got? Um, This is from Turnstiles. And I paid again, regular price, but I couldn't help myself. It was in such great condition and it's actually, it looks wood, but it's actually a like glass or I don't know, 
what what it is exactly is that coming off i could glue that for you guys it looks like of course i said it was in perfect condition but look at how pretty that is especially for spring put the kiddos pictures in here i think that is so beautiful none of the stones are missing and it's from Simple Spirits, double ivory floral frame for the Pavilion Gifts Company. It's from 2012. So it looks like it's kind of lifting. No, not on that side. On this side, I could just glue that back down for y'all. Um, but I paid $3.99 for that. <laughs> that might be something else that I might keep if nobody gets it because it'll look good anywhere. This is actually from an estate sale. I just grabbed this randomly from my stash. I think I paid a dollar for it. This works, but I can't I can't twist it off. So this would definitely be something that is for decor only. I found this at Savers. Anytime I see pottery, kind of like crock um, looking pieces, I will buy this. I thought the imagery on here was beautiful. I always love the blue. It's gorgeous. And it says handmade for my favorite things. So I don't know what that was, but this is also going to be perfect, you guys, for spring, for those hand-picked little flowers from kids or anything. Let's see, you guys, I couldn't believe these finds. Okay, we're winding down already. So, oh no, there's more stuff over there. <laughs> so I found two of these. Going down the aisle at Goodwill. You guys, Indiana Glass, Amber Hen on a Nest, and another Indiana Glass one. It needs to be washed, it's greasy. These were definitely in somebody's kitchen. And then the clear glass. You guys, I saw these and right away I was like, they're going to be outrageous. Like any, even at garage sales, people have these marked for like they're selling it online. You know, they're not garage sale prices because I saw tons of them at garage sales last year, but people wanted good money for them. $5.99 each. I was shook. That's when I was like, I'm coming back to this Goodwill and not one of them is chipped anywhere anywhere and they're gorgeous this one i've never seen an amber hen on the nest I've seen plenty of clear um oh don't don't break now so i was excited this one in particular if it does not sell i'm gonna keep because i love the amber glass it's so my vibe i think it's gonna look great with pops of blue white greenery and then this one for sure is gonna be listed. Again, no chips or anything. I love the beaded rim on here. These girls are gorgeous. So yeah, the clear one definitely needs a bath. That one I could feel is greasy. <laughs> I just love you guys as I'm taking these out, like almost I think half of it I'm saying, if it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it. But it's true because I buy things that I like, obviously, that I'm drawn to. So if you guys don't buy it, I'm also like, well, I, I'm not sad about it. Um, if you guys have watched my thrift um, hauls in the past, I love pottery. I love handmade pottery, store-bought pottery. It doesn't matter. But if it's handmade, I love it. And I found this beautiful piece of pottery and this is something that I will definitely keep if you guys don't buy it um, because for spring, I want to do our bookshelves in the living room. I got all of these white pitchers, creamers and stuff off of Facebook Marketplace. So I want to put those in the bookshelf with my books and then put pops of blue with like white sprigs or yellow sprigs coming out of them. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. I will attempt to sell because I can't keep everything. Um, this one is not signed by an artist. Um, it does look like it's handmade though. So I'm not quite sure, but.
but um, it's <laughs> it's beautiful. I don't want to keep. All right, it's okay. There's a possibility that <laughs> it'll stay with me. I found these for a dollar ninety nine, and they are just these actually say I think made in China, so they're not hand turned made in China. Yeah. So these are like mass produced ones. They were $1.99 and I figured if these didn't sell on the website, these would be great little smalls to put in the booth at a lower price, you know, just to get people adding on. Uh, the green of course is my favorite because it's my favorite color and there's the red and I love you guys. The handles are apps. Look at that. I got big hands too. I got like man hands so these are so awesome i love them so if you guys don't buy them i will put them in the booth i do not need to keep those what else do we got um this oh, i wanted to keep this too but i told myself what are you going to do with it so i found this and it was sitting in like a random place with like the clocks and stuff and I picked it up and I was like, wow, that's so pretty. And the back looks the same way. It has this little chain that connects it. Well, when you open it, you guys, it's brand new. You can put photos in here. And what's awesome is they're magnets. So you can easily take them off, put your photo in there, and then pop them back in. There was a part of me that wanted to keep it. And then I was just like, you know what? Like somebody else probably has something really special they would want this for. I didn't even notice there's even stones on the inside of it. Do you see the purple stones? Top, bottom, left, right on both of these. So I looked this up. It's actually from uh, Hallmark. Uh, Back in the day, uh, it's at least, I think, 20 years old. I forget what the date was. I don't remember. But it said that it was called, like, the Family Tree um, Pendant or something like that. So I thought this was gorgeous. And, you guys, this has some serious weight to it. So I'm sure there's somebody that can imagine a family member's photos in here. So I will post it and not be greedy because I'm sure somebody has photos that they've needed something for. Okay, let's shut that. So pretty. Why aren't you shutting right now? Did I put that thing in there weird? Oh. Yeah, sorry, you guys. Get in there. Lay down. Sorry. Putting it back. Okay. So that was, why aren't you shutting? Okay. Well, it did, it did shut. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I found that there, there's where we're going. And then I found all of these for 99 cents. Goodwill. Goodwill, y'all. I'm all about Goodwill now. Uh, these were 99 cents. They are so beautiful. They look brand spanking new, perfect for spring for people that love succulents. Um, I have also I also looked online because these aren't marked by anything. I think they're like pots for succulents because there's no holes in them, so not other florals. Um, but then it also came up mugs. But I think that's more for like the um, the older like crock looking pots. But I found them in white. There was two of these light blue. And then two, these look yellowish green to me. I don't know. See how like on the top it kind of looks yellowish, kind of greenish. I don't know, but I mean, 
99 cents. So what is still on those? I found this, which I'm keeping for myself. I actually thought one of my plants would fit in here, but it doesn't drain, no holes in it. So this will definitely be for one of the house plants. And it was $2.99. Loved it. Loved it. Sorry, I'm trying not to keep you guys here forever. We're winding down. All right, I found a bag of salt and pepper shakers, and I thought they were gorgeous. They were $5.99, and there's like one, two, three, four sets. So there's these two big ones, and these are kind of like art deco. They almost look kind of mid-century modern, and look at how gorgeous like the bottom is and the shape of them. Now, they do have some wear on them, like on these like right here it's very minimal though like you have to be up close and personal with them to like see it but these are so gorgeous they're really thick and oh and then the little ones are all the same now there is a set that has a chip in it i'll show it to you and that one will be listed separately and at a lower rate um, look at how pretty these are. Do you see it's like cut in to the glass? These could, I don't think they're crystal. No, they're glass. At least they're not ringing. So, and these are stunning. I love them. And when you look down this way, they almost look like frosted and the tops are perfection um it does not even look like these have ever been used before so now the one that has the chip for those of you is it that one pretty sure it's this one. hold on i just want to show you in case oh no okay so here we go What's nice about them being the same. Okay, so those are perfect. So actually I found another little chip. So this one has a chip, right? I don't know if you guys could see it there. And this one has a chip on the bottom. Now, if somebody doesn't buy these, I might repurpose them because I've seen DIYs lately using salt and pepper shakers and people putting the wire through like the, the holes on opposite sides and then doing like those photo holders with them. So if somebody doesn't buy these, I will DIY them. Okay, so I think that was everything in this box. The last few things, you guys, there's only a couple. Um, I pulled this out for spring. I thrifted this with my dad before I got pregnant and then we found out I got sick. <laughs> so I've been sitting on some stuff, but I was like, I have to pull this out for spring. This is actually a, a Teleflora gift, but it's a Galway Irish crystal. Um, so I thought that was really cool. The flowers are etched into the glass. And I love this like scalloped edge on the top, but I thought the pink was so different. And I mean, it's crystal, you can hear it. So I got that, this one, I took the tag off. I think it was $3.99 at Salvation Army. Back then. All right, and you guys know I have a whole collection of Ray Dunn that I've taken out some at a time. So I grabbed some ones that are for spring. So I have these milk bottles. They're a set. It says love grows here. It looks like somebody like tried to glue maybe a ribbon. So I'll get that off with my heat gun because there's also, yeah, like somebody glued something to these. I don't know. And then <laughs> I'll try you guys my best, but I don't know. Somebody's stuck. They're not glued the floral foam in there. I could probably take that out. Uh, so they probably had obviously flowers in there. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have got my 
at one time. Um, but the good thing about these are, you guys, is yes, Ray Dunn can be found at Home Goods and stuff, but there are some items that like are considered retired or hard to find. So that's why some of these things you might not see or they don't have anymore. Um, or they'll have like different versions of. Um, I also have a Lucky um, Ray Dunn mug. Super cute, great condition, nothing wrong with it. The lady that I bought all of these from used all of her Ray Dunn stuff as decor. Um, she didn't actually use a lot of it. So this one is the Lucky and this is the bigger mug. And then this one is actually one of the rare hard to find um, Ray Dunn mugs. It's the pinch me, but then it has the, um, clover on the inside. And there's the Ray Dunn. This one has, which I think is cool when there's like little imperfections, the little pits. And you could see like two pits right there. One, two. So this one is a hard to find pinch me. People are asking that outrageous amount for that. Um, and that's it, you guys. We are done. Welcome back to Thrifted Thursday. I hope you guys have fun shopping the website. Um, definitely look back at the older stuff as well because there's definitely some spring items that are waiting to get picked up. And then I also have a clearance section. So you have to go to that tab and then in the clearance section, you have to buy two or more items and then they will be 50% off at checkout. So definitely check the clearance section as well. I appreciate you all being here. I love chatting with you guys about all of this stuff because you guys are my people and uh, I can't wait to be back next Thursday with another one. So happy shopping, my friends. Bye.